Hey everybody, Keto Nomad here. Thanks for coming and watching my channel. I'm really upset. I bought this cauliflower flower. It was pretty expensive. I don't remember how much. It's expensive, gluten-free. I thought if this works, it's worth it because I love my pizza and I'm Italian and this would be a way for me to have it. Plus, you know, I was looking at the carbs, etc. So, okay, I'm going to make it. Stay tuned because don't buy this stuff. I'll tell you why. So, I did exactly what it said to do. I put my three tablespoons of the cauliflower flour into the bowl. And then I heated up the hot water in my tea kettle. And then I added two thirds cups of hot water. And I blended it in really, really, really good. Really, really, really good. Make sure there was no clumps or anything. Then, after I did that, it tells you to add in a pinch of salt. So, pinch of salt. One for the bowl. Yep. And then, one over the shoulder for luck. So, exactly the way that it is printed on the container, on the, on the package. Add one egg. I added one egg. Add a half a cup of Parmesan, uh, correction, mozzarella cheese. I put in the mozzarella cheese, just the way it said. And then it said to mix it all up really, really good. Again, really, really good. And that's exactly what I did. The recipe said to add, um, I think it was basil. Well, I didn't add basil. I added oregano. I like oregano in mine, so I added oregano. And then there you go. Watch. See? I mixed it up. And I kept mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing. So I lined the pan with parchment paper and I sprayed some spray um, nonstick on there, just like the recipe said. but I got a watery consistency. At no time did I get a dough consistency. And I looked back at the recipe again and it said, I could divide this into two different pieces of dough. It said, put the dough ball in the middle of the pan and, and pat it down a quarter of inch. Well, there was no patting down because I didn't have a dough ball. It was liquid. So I thought to myself, self, are you reading this wrong? Look at that recipe again. Well, look at it. You all can see it. it. I did exactly what it told me to do. And I checked my ingredients. And it said three tablespoons of this flour right there. Yeah. Two thirds of a cup of hot water. One half cup of shredded. Oh, anyway. So I went ahead and I put it in the oven. And I waited, and I waited, and I put it on 350, just like the instructions said, 350. And I cooked it, and I waited. And while I did that, I got my toppings prepared. Fresh cut pepperoni that I have from the stock, Bridgeford, my favorite. A couple of little thin sliced onions. And I had some pizza sauce and mozzarella cheese. Now, we're not talking cheap ingredients here, or cheap toppings. Fresh mozzarella, and then the pepperoni, and, of course, a few olives for me to eat and snack on, which were really low-carb. I love those oil-cured olives. They're Italian. Look at how pretty I made this pizza look. But I didn't put those toppings on until after I cooked the pizza crust. 
And even when I was putting those on, I thought this pizza crust doesn't really look like it's ready for these toppings yet. But I did exactly what it said. I let it brown. I put the pizzas on. I thought, okay, it's going to cook more while it's in there. A couple more minutes, whatever. It never, ever got, never got crispy, nothing. But stay tuned and you'll see how it does turn out. So I made my pizza look beautiful and then stuck it back in the pizza oven to cook. Doesn't it look pretty? Okay, wait for it because I'm not happy. Here we go. Okay, this is what I got. It was ridiculous. It fell apart. Well, the cheese was done. The pepperoni was done. The onions were done, but... The dough wasn't done. It was mush, mush, mush. How'd that go again, Carolyn? Mush. So I took all the topping off. I'll never use this again or buy it again. Uh, maybe, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll give it one more try and try to make it thinner. I don't know. But I looked it up online and I saw a video from like two years ago. That video, the ingredients were differently, different. They were different size ingredients to make the pizza. And she had the same problem. I do not recommend this product. Very, very disappointed. It was nothing but mush. I don't want to, I don't think I'll take the chance again of wasting eggs and cheese and pepperoni. You know, cheese is expensive. Um, I don't think I'll take that chance again. I'd rather make me a chuffle and top it with my mozzarella cheese, etc., or use a carb solution tortilla, which has worked for me before. Sorry, but not sorry.